So in this video I'm going to show you how to first off fix the rounding issue where it will remove the point zero uh, when you type in 16.0 for example as well as how to calculate an average and a standard deviation automatically in Excel. So as you can see here I have a table filled with data from all my trials. However, you can see that in this area here, 16, 14, and 13, what occurred is when I typed in 16.0, Excel automatically changed that to just 16. Now as a scientist, that's not what I want to do. I want to make sure that I record the correct degree of precision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the trials and all the data through which I want to um, fix that degree of precision. And then up here, I can change the number of decimal places associated with each of those numbers automatically. If I push this one here uh, with the arrow going to the left, what it will do is it will increase the number of decimal places. Here you see it's automatically increased everything to two decimal places, but in reality, I want everything to be one decimal place. So I click the button with the arrow moving right, decreasing the number of decimal places. Now, those numbers where it was a point zero, the point zero is included. Next, we're going to look at how to create an average. So, in this first cell, I'm going to type the following formula. Equals, average, open the parentheses, and then select all of the data that I want to average. And then just hit return. As you can see, it's automatically created the average there for me. One more time, equals, average, open brackets, select the data, and hit return. Now, Excel's relatively intelligent in that um, what I can do is I can copy this cell, command C, and then paste it in the one below. And it automatically moves my range from B6 to E6 that was used to calculate this average to B7 to E7. Since I moved this formula down, it also moved the range down with it. So this number here, 16.5, is the correct average for these four trials. Next, standard deviation. Same concept, just slightly different formula. Equals STDEV, open the parentheses, and again, select the data. Notice that I am not selecting the average, only the trials. Hit return, and there is the standard deviation. Another way to copy and paste is, uh, you'll see in the bottom right-hand corner of this blue box, there is a little square. As I move my cursor over it, my cursor changes to this cross symbol, a black cross. If I click and drag down, it will copy and paste everything into those cells. Now, I don't like how um, I have different levels of precision for my standard deviation than I do for the rest of the data. And so I'm actually going to make sure that I have the same number of significant figures or significant digits here. In this case, for each of these, I have three significant figures. And so I'm going to maintain that same level. So I'm going to decrease now the number of decimal places so that I have three significant figures. 1.15, 0 0.36, and 0 0.37. There we have it. Rounding, averages, and standard deviation.